Today in the Love Lab, we are making everything stuffed waffles. These waffles are going to be stuffed with bacon and eggs and cheese. And I know it sounds like a lot, but trust me, it is amazing. You don't want to miss it. Let's get in the kitchen. Let's cook. So this recipe has a couple of different ingredients because we've got a couple different things going on, okay? So we're going to start with our bacon and eggs. So over here I've got some bacon that's cut up. Now, I took a shortcut today, you guys. I actually bought the pre-cooked bacon. Yeah, now usually, you know, I'm always saying cook your own and I like to cook my own. But every now and then you need this little shortcut and I got some pre-cooked bacon. So what I do is I chop it up and then put it in the skillet with a little bit of oil or butter or something just to kind of help it go and brown it up a little bit, okay? After that, we're going to scramble some eggs or fry scrambled eggs. I'm going to cook them like my grandmama told me. Okay, we've got that. And then the cheese as well is going to go with those, okay? That's that piece of this recipe. Now, over here for the waffles, we're going to have some all-purpose flour, some sugar, some melted butter, eggs, vanilla, baking powder, baking soda, and buttermilk. And this is the kind of buttermilk I tell you guys about what you can make yourself, right? So this is some milk I've taken and I've added some vinegar to it and let it sit and you see how it starts to curdle? That's what you want. That's all you need. So first things first, I'm going to get this bacon going so it can render me some nice little bit of fat here and get a little that little done look that we like on bacon. Pop a little butter in there too. Then we're gonna take that out and get our eggs going as well, okay? Now, while those are cooking up, ooh, you guys, I'm so excited. I love these kinds of recipes because there's like all your favorite things in one and it doesn't get any better. Oh my God, okay. Back, I'm back, y'all. Now, let's get going on our waffles while that's happening. So here we go. This, this recipe is also adapted from my cookbook. So there's a recipe in my cookbook for chocolate waffles that gives you the same basic idea. So grab the cookbook and you'll get a chance to see really how you make waffles, okay? Just thought I'd throw that out there. All right, here we go. Starting with our all-purpose flour. And to that, we're going to add a little bit of baking soda and baking powder to give it a little rise. The baking powder gives it rise. We're gonna add some sugar. Okay, because we want these to be good and just a, li a little bit sweet, as my baby says. <laughs> my little boy used to say a little bit. All right, whisk that together. Let's add a dash of salt to that. Okay, the salt just brings out the flavor of whatever you're cooking. Here we go. All right, now those are our dry ingredients. Now for our wet ingredients, I'm going to mix them all together here in this mixing cup and then add them into my dish. Okay, so to my buttermilk mixture, I'm going to lightly beat two eggs. Lightly, put those in there. Okay, and I'm going to add two tablespoons of melted butter. A little bit of fat will do amazing things for the texture of our waffles. And a little bit of vanilla. Just a little kiss. All right, I'm gonna mix these up well. All right. We're almost there guys, look at that. See how this bacon is coming together? It's all I did. Again, you don't have to use pre-cooked bacon, but everybody needs a little shortcut. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to do everything all the time. You can do everything most of the time, but not all the time. And once you get it going with a little fry like this, you know, a little fat in there to help it along, it'll be fine. It's still bacon. All right, that looks delicious. Got a nice, heat on it. Okay, I'm going to put that in here. Oops. Dropped a couple pieces. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Hot, hot, hot. Now we're going to take our eggs. Get them going in here. Just a few. We're not going to go overboard with this because we're not trying, we're not just making scrambled eggs, you know, but we're putting everything together. 
I'm just gonna crack them straight in here, put them straight in. My grandma used to cook her eggs like this. I always liked it. There we go. Just like so. Get those going. Oh yeah. And while that's doing that, I'm gonna also put just a little bit of salt in here with these. Okay. Put a smidge of this fresh ground pepper. I used to love when my grandma would cook her eggs like this. She would just do this little thing. I, I don't know, it makes me feel like she's here. <laughs> Again, like we're just, like I'm in the kitchen with Granny and she's making me some eggs. It makes my day. <laughs> All right, here we go. See, just cook them up just a little bit. You don't need a ton. See that? And this is just three eggs. Salt, pepper, boom. All right, and we cooked them in that bacon fat that was rendered from our pre-cooked bacon saved us a step. Turn the heat off so we don't burn our hands or anything. And I'm going to put these right in here with the bacon. All right. Now let me move this out the way, guys, so we don't have any kitchen problems. All righty. And now let's come back over here. Here we go. Back to our waffle mix. Okay. And we're going to add in our wet ingredients. Okay, like so. I'm being cautious, you guys, because I got a lot of hot stuff going on in this kitchen right now. And the last thing I need to do is accidentally burn myself because I'm not paying attention or because I think I got it all under control. All right, I'm gonna mix up this waffle mix, just like so. I know you're thinking to yourself, please tell me you're not about to do, Lori, what I think you're about to do. I am about to do what you think I'm about to do, and you're hoping I'm not about to do, I'm about to do it. All right, ready? Are you ready, fam? We're gonna take this bacon, we're gonna take the bacon and the eggs, we're gonna mix them right in with the waffles. I know you're thinking, ew, just trust me, have I led you wrong yet, fam? No, I haven't, because I love you, and I wouldn't lead you wrong, okay? I wouldn't steer you wrong, I promise. I promise, okay? Just ride with me on this one. Ride with me. And then, I'm gonna add a little bit of this cheddar cheese in here as well, like so. Okay? Be careful not to use that hot iron eye over there. And then you're just gonna give it a little stir. Don't over stir it. Now we're just really trying to fold everything together. Okay? There we go. All right. Now I have heated my waffle maker. I've already got my spray in it and everything, so it's ready to go. And here it goes. I'm telling you guys, I know what you're thinking because the first time I tried this, I'm gonna be honest, even though it was me cooking it, I thought the same thing. What in the world? Trust. I have a two-sided waffle because I have a big family <laughs> waffle maker. My family's big. It's six of us. Me, my husband, my kids, and my mom. My mom lives nearby, and she's with us a lot of the times because it's just the thing that you do when you're blessed enough to have your mama living nearby, which I do. So I'm always cooking for six. So I gotta have a two-sided waffle maker. It might be some arguing up in this kitchen. And I don't we don't need that negativity in here. So I just cook enough. Now, I'm gonna let these finish. Every time I do this in my waffle maker, you're wondering why I'm holding it like this and I have all these answers. I'm going to tell y'all why. I always stuff the waffle maker too full. I always tell myself I'm not going to do it the next time. And then the next time I start cooking and I do it. And I do it because it tastes good. Matt means your waffles do this, but isn't that Calabama cooking when you make a little too much and stuff it a little too full? I think so. That's the Bama part, not the Cali part. I love you, California, but that ain't y'all. That's Bama. All right, guys, look at that. Is that not a thing of beauty? It's hot, woo, hot, hot, baby, hot. <laughs> All right, and we have another one. <laughs> look, oh, get the cheese and the eggs. And you can't really see it all because it's all cooked into the waffle, but oh my God, it's unbelievably beautiful, <laughs> nothing else. 
Well guys, now that our waffles are out, look at how delicious that looks. I'm gonna dig in and get a little piece here. Hope I don't burn my mouth. Just a little piece here. Oh my gosh, look at that. See the eggs and the bacon and the cheese in there. Can you see all of that goodness in there? All mixed into a buttermilk waffle. on there and feast. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you make these everything stuffed waffles. You will not be disappointed. I promise you. Thanks for joining me, guys. I'll see you next time right back here for more Calabama cooking with me, Chef Loris. Thanks for joining me. Happy cooking.